Cinema is not all about stars. Cinema is not the multinationals think. Cinema is not recording videotapes. Cinema is not about the scenic photography, immaculate frames, extravagant set design. Cinema is deliberating the dedication of the margin to the pursuit of a personal universe. Cinema is the place of cures and intoxication. Cinema is not being indoctrinated by experts. Cinema is where the real and the incomprehensible, the fantastic and the impossible meet clash. Cinema is our films. Hello Cinema Lovers, I'm Viola. Mika Bien. The Big Screen. Today we are still in Thessaloniki and we would like to introduce and show you the Thessaloniki Cinema Museum. We came here because we would like to see the museum is one of the most recommended museums in the city and us as we are this, the first cinema lovers and is uh, I think unique opportunity and chance for um, uh, the channel we would like to, to come here. Actually, the, the cinema, the cinema museum of Thessaloniki, is also in charge of organizing the, the year, the every year, um, festival of cinema of Thessaloniki, that actually is the most important uh, cinema festival in Greece, and that shows different kind of uh, Greek um, movies. Every year they are trying to, to choose, not just Greek movies, also foreign movies. And uh, every year the festival is organized in the Aristoteles Square, th that's, that place that actually is just a few meters from here. And also we need to say, if you are interested in coming here, that the museum is located exactly in the entrance of the Hayward, but actually quite near from city center and from the touristic points. And it's quite affordable, just the ticket costs two euros, and if you are a student, one euro. So, good opportunity for everyone, for every pocket. You want more? Want more? <laughs> Do you want to know more? Let's go with us. The museum actually was established in the year 1997, so we are talking about around 20 years uh, ago, and actually the museum was established exactly in the same year that Thessaloniki was named the capital of the European culture. The museum, basically, it shows the development of the Greek cinema, so it's mainly based the thematic in the cinema of this country, and uh, actually this museum has a different kind of collection of objects and different stuff connected with the Greek cinema, but also they used to organize here uh, educational trainings and other kind of cultural activities as well. The, the things that we can see in the museum is not just connected with the cinema, also they show um, different kind of perspective connected with the cinematically uh, recording. So we are now in the section uh, about Manakia Brothers and why they was important? Because they was actually the first one in the Balkan area related with the experimental and commercial profit cinema. And they was also involved in the, uh, what later in 1905 was called Seventh Art. Here we have another important uh, historical fact. Can you guess who was the first really big important Greek person? Actually, we can consider that one of the most important ones was, for just underline this name, Konstantinos Bachatoris or Bachatoris, I don't know how is the proper pronunciation in Greek, but uh, this guy actually was the first Greek producer and uh, also was like a pioneer in his moment because he produced his first movie that was called Golfo, not in Greece. He was one of the first uh, European um, producers who moved to the United States of America, you know, the big business of Hollywood where is really the, the whole money. And he moved and recorded this movie in the coast of California in the United States. So really big, important movement, historical movement. And actually 
This is also interesting information. He invested 100,000 drachmas in the production of this movie. Actually, the drachma was the currency that was in Greek, in Greece, sorry, before um, uh, they got into euros because they was one of the first countries who got into euro in the year 2002, and for that moment was a really big amount of money. So let's say some words about women in the cinema, Greek cinema. So first of all, the role of the woman starts as a, from starts from uh, the virgin that is saving her flower to her future husband to emancipated woman who is fighting for her rights. And also, woman has different kind of personality and different kind of role. First of all, traditional role of the mother that is taking care of child. Second thing, wife that is managing the home, that is taking care of a husband. But also prostitute who is taking the conflict with the main world. And I think that this is the three main personalities that is in the Greek cinema. As we mentioned before, here is organized the biggest uh, festival of uh, the Greek cinema here in the city of Thessaloniki and here we have the main awards that they used to give to the different kind of movies. We have, uh, first of all, the Golden Alexander, that is the main award that receives the best movie of the festival. Later we have the uh, Silver Alexander, that actually is an award that is given just by the jury, that sometimes is just given like a kind of tribute to a director, to uh, a classical movie or something like that and later we have the uh, medallion alexander that is a uh, medallion of alexander that is given to uh, a special um, a special awards from different kind of movies not just for the best movie and actually you probably you are wondering why the name alexander i think is quite obvious alexander the great was one of the main characters i would say maybe the most important character of the of the history of this country of the history of, of greece and obviously is a tribute to this one of the first uh, big conquerors in the history alexander the great in the end of our video. I would like to say that I really enjoyed visiting this museum. It shows the evolution of the Greek cinema in this really, really nice way. 
Yeah, for me also, I think it was a good experience. Actually, it's quite close from the city center. It's not that far. The ticket is absolutely affordable, just two euro. And if you are a student, just one euro is really cheap. Also, I think the Greek cinema is not so known abroad, especially the information that we have we have said and the information, extra information that was in the museum, plus the objects, plus how it was organized. It's, um, it's a visit that actually you, in one hour you can see the whole museum, you can have the whole information, so I think that is totally a good recommendation and me, me personally I enjoy it quite a lot as well. So if you like, like we, just give a like. Don't forget some likes please, we want to see that you like also the, the video. Also don't forget that to subscribe here below, also we want to see that uh, our small cinema lovers family is growing and improving. And yeah. Now let's enjoy the last afternoon in the Thessaloniki. So see you next video. See you next video. Bye.